lead, playing Singapore's former world champion, Lo Kian Yu. He's seated fourth here. Later on, we've got the other men's semi-finals. Xu Yuqi, the third seed from China, takes on Denmark's Anders Antonsen for a place in the final. Well, first up, though, it's Koran Aroka and Lo Kian Yu. Well, the fans have been uh, very much enjoying themselves here. Earlier on, they were treated to Kim So Yong and Kong Hee Yong, the fourth seed Korean women's doubles pair, beating Mayu Matsumoto and Wakana Nagahara. And So Young also won her match. So, uh, some real delight to see that the Koreans are through. There's still one more Korean representation at the end of the day. Here are the players coming through. Well, can you, a popular player wherever he goes around the world. And the fans certainly enjoying themselves as well. Yosu has not had Korean Open badminton since uh, 20, 2002, so 21 years. They've met uh, twice before. Uh, last time out was at the start of the year. Lokian has won both of them. And he beat Naraoka at that Indian Open meeting. He is... He has a very good record, as we said. Two wins so far, but Naraoka has been one of the outstanding players of the last uh, eight months or so. The first time they met was in the Russian Open, the semi-final. Lokian Yu won that one. Remember Lokian Yu storming onto the world stage at the end of 2021. He had a fantastic run of uh, tournaments and then that culminated in the World Championship. Beat uh, Victor Axelson in the first round and then never looked back. Became uh, the first Singaporean to ever win at the World Champs and that really grabbed the headlines. Koda Naroka, 22 years of age, 173 centimetres tall. He's the most improved player really in World Badminton. Currently ranked fourth. He was uh, third a couple of months ago. Former youth Olympic bronze medalist in 2018. World junior champion, second place uh, silver medalist in 2018 as well. This is his route to the uh, semi finals. Uh, was pushed actually quite a bit by Priyanshu Rajwat. Had a slightly easier time against uh, Luchaku and straightforward against Michal Silverman of Israel. He has won just one tournament on the World Tour. That was uh, last year's Vietnam Open. This year, he was runner-up at the Malaysia Open. Lo Kian Yu, famously born in the north of Malaysia in Penang, moved to Singapore as a young boy. Uh, currently ranked eighth in the world. Uh, not too long ago, he was the world number three uh, towards the end of last year. And uh, this is his route. He dropped a uh, game against Zhao Junbeng, but a man who'd beaten him not too long ago. He avenged that and won the last game in style. And Tso Yong, who beat him in the quarterfinals of the Commonwealth Games, well, Lo Kian Yu avenged that. A tight match, that one, in the end. And uh, he's also the silver medalist at the Asian Championships this year. Dominic Codera of England. Here's our umpire. Zhou Jade Kung of uh, Korea, the service judge. Just to finish up there on uh, Leo Kian Yu. He's also won two titles on the World Tour. 2019 Thai Masters and uh, the Hilo Open in 2021. He has famously not won a tournament since the World Champs at the end of 2021. He's had a couple of runners up at the Indonesia Open and the India Open. Koda Naroka has been in 14 semi-finals previously. He's only won five of the 14. He's lost his last two. The last semi-final he won was at the Malaysia Ladies Open in My January. Kodai Naroka, Japan. As for Lokian, he's had nine semi-finals. He's won six out of nine, though he's lost his last three. And on my left, the last one he won Yu, in the India four. Open at the start of last year, where he beat Brian Young. That was actually via a walkover. Kodai Naloka to serve. 
Naroka to get us going. So that's interesting because at the start of that match against Unser Young, he served up a 400 kilometer per hour smash. And that was about it, really, because Unser Young decided not to use too many lifts against him to ensure that that weapon was not used. He avoided as many lifts as possible. I wonder whether. Naroka might just learn from that and decide not to. Here we go. Didn't quite hit it the way he wanted. Look at you. That's it. That's good. It's a fine start here from Look at you. Just a little push to the back court. Remember, quite often on that side, it carries just a little bit more. Just perhaps a little bit of drift on that side, but this time it was good for Liu Kenyu. Quite enough on that one. First point on the board for Kodai Naroka. He's taken a, a one month break off sports, uh, off uh, badminton, I should say, excuse me. Look at you. Seems to have done him a, a world of good. He's lost in a few finals at the India Open last year, the SEA Games singles final as well, the Asian Championships this year. He's then won just four out of nine matches in five tournaments over six weeks. He skipped Taipei, Canada and the US Opens to work on the shot quality, consistency, anticipation, taking of initiative and changing of speed. And it seems to have done him a world of good. National singles assistant coach uh, Liu Wei Sheng has said he's mostly done well in the areas that he's worked on, and the key to his victories have been his focus on the process and his execution of the strategies. There's the winner, speed 381, on top of his speed and power. So he'll be quite happy with that so far. Good reactions from Naruoka. He's going to find it hard from there. Good placement from Lok and Yu. said in that match against Aung Tso Yong that he had to adapt to different situations. And he said the point to make it 19 all was a crucial one where he he made this amazing forward dive and turned the defense into attack, lifted the shuttle to the backcourt that landed on the line to level the scores. He said he wanted to give it his all to retrieve every shot, which showed there in that match. Yeah, he needed a little bit more depth than that, didn't he? Look, and you put away by Nanooka as it should be. Here, yeah, this one took it a little low. Below the tape. Well, after that win against Aung Tsui he said it feels very good to go far in any tournament. And he said he was happy to overcome a tough opponent in a good match. And he said this match here against Nanooka, against a strong opponent, it's going to be tough. So he said he wanted to... 
prepare and rest well. That's bread and butter for Liu Kenyu. No chance for Naraoka. That back cross court, the smash from Look at You. More than 400 this time. The smash. That certainly is one of his big weapons. Miss hit that. Good rallies we've had so far. You can see it's a little bit of a chess match type scenario here with these two. Some fairly long rallies already inside the first uh, 12 points that we've had. just out. Naroka goes back in front. They've uh, gone back and forth with the lead. Yeah, it's uh, been trading points for the last, uh, well, since it was two all, they've traded points. As soon as I say that, of course, then Naroka takes uh, two points in a row for the first time since he made it to all. And unsurprisingly, pegged back immediately by Look and You. Who's uh, carrying the hopes of uh, Singaporeans to the Olympics next year? As of now, he looks uh, very safe to get there. If you're in the uh, top 16 in the world, you are guaranteed a place. Get it over. Uh, but you'll find uh, that a, a lot of uh, tournaments, so you skip three, as we mentioned, in a row, just to take that break and focus on things. But we've got uh, Japan coming up next, then Australia. And there's a bit of a break. And then there's China after that. So the tournament's coming thick and fast. And this is during the qualification period. So players are going to try and play as many as they can to accrue points just to be safe. I'm sure they get themselves to those games in Paris next year. That's a kill on the backhand there from Lowe. Oh, 
that, yeah, might be worth a little bit of a, a challenge that it just clipped the line. I'm not sure it necessarily did. We'll have a... Ooh, maybe, maybe. Tight call, tight call. That's worth a shout, isn't it? A little hate shake of the head that we saw there. Let's see. Oh, it's very tight, but it is out. Oh, you can see why. There's a groan from the crowd. Missed it. Looked to try and go for the kill. Ended up being an air shot. And Naraoka has a three point lead here in the interval of the first game against Loken Yu. Yeah, tough too. It, it looked like it was already just going below the tape. Yeah, it was tough. Too close to the net. This time he makes no mistake at the net. Just looking at the uh, the records of these two, look at you. Nine. Playing against uh, Japanese players in the uh, quarterfinals, has only had one before. That was, sorry, in semi-finals was uh, against Naroka. That was in uh, the Russian Open, as we mentioned in 2019. Look, and he went on to lose that final against Shesa Rustavito. His overall record against uh, Japanese players. Some of the shots just not quite carrying, are they? And he's got a good record against Japanese players. Eight wins out of 11, though he lost his last one. And that was against Kenta Nishimoto in the second round of the German Open in March this year. Otherwise, he was on a fine run. He won his last five matches prior to that against Japanese players. The likes of Kanta Sunuyama, Koki Watanabe, Kento Momota. Kodai Naraoka, his opponent here. Now, Naraoka has gone into the biggest lead anyone has had so far in this match. Four points. Oh, he's just absolutely battered that back, hasn't he? <laughs> Look at you. Some might call that an agricultural shot. May not be the most aesthetically pleasing, but it was there for the taking. Interestingly enough, Kuda Naroka has not faced too many top ten players in semi finals before. Has only won one out of four. 
Kudla Vitetan, the Malaysia Open earlier this year, who was ranked ninth at the time. He was seventh. His powers of recovery are remarkable. Good luck in you. And he's only a point behind now. Kodan Naroka generally against top 10 players throughout his career is uh, 110 out of 25, which isn't really that bad. Given that he only got to the uh, top 10 at the start of uh, this year. Obviously, started racking up a lot more victories after he got into the top 10 against fellow top 10 players. Set. Oh. Look at you against uh, top 10 players, has lost a lot more 12 out of 34. He's won, so he's lost 22. Against top ten players at all levels. So just as he uh, was building up ahead of steam there, look at you. He got four in a row himself. But Kota Naroka has just eased that pressure off a little bit anyway. We're winning that point. It was actually the best run of the game for anyone. Look, anyone when he took the four in a row. of that one and Naroka just builds up that cushion a little further yeah that was uh, in the slot really for Naroka to put away So he breaks that run, Loki and you, and gets himself just a point behind Koda Naroka. Just swerving to the right there a little bit, the uh, shuttle.
again, maybe just rushing it at the net. There have been a few of those, haven't they? A number of unforced errors from Lo Kien Yu in this first game. Koda Naroka is in a comfortable position perhaps now. Three is the lead and three is what he needs. So Naroka will feel he's in pole position here to take this first game unless Lo Kien Yu can produce something quite good. So delicately done by Koda and Aroka. What a shot that is. Just the way he took the weight right off this. Stop drop there from him. Which is just showing a little bit disguised that he might be going for a smash, but he doesn't in the end. And that outfoxed look at you. Now, so a little ray of hope for Lo Kien Yu. He needs to put on a bit of a run here. wrong there and uh, Koda Naroka moves to game points now he's got four in hand That should be good. So he saved one game point here. Look, at need three more to go. Try and force it to 20 all. What you may not have just seen on the replay there, look at you with an easy finish to kill off that point. Just over the head of Naroka, who was forced to stretch behind him. Two game points saved. Look at you. Covers well again. Look at you. Oh, lovely. Can't do it again, though. Koda Naroka wins that first game. Entertaining one. Very strategic, very tactical, these two. Lots of variation, lots of different things going on. Plenty of rallies. Reflected in the scoreline and the time taken. That was a lovely penultimate shot there from Loki and you. And he couldn't quite get there. So Kora Naroka takes that first game against Loki and you, 21 18.
Look at you, he's looking to bounce back here. He's got to win this game to force a third. wide. Similar sort of start to what we saw in the previous game from Lokianu with that jump smash. Such a big weapon of his. Difficult when you get into those sort of corners for anyone to try and return those. Well, he is just uh, on the receiving end. Gets a taste of his own medicine there. Look at you. Kona Naroka. Just whips that back. Crowds are with Look and You here at the moment. Reactions again. Yeah, not enough uh, depth on that lift for Naroka, which uh, gave Look any the opportunity then to put it away. All that clear, I should say, from. Uh, Naraoka. Oh. 
Now, look at you looking to take the lead for the first time since uh, early in the second game. Can't do it yet, look at you. Kora Naroka has been in front since very early in the second game when he went uh, seven, six up. Look at the way he just bounces up again, look at you. That's not the first time we've seen that from looking at you, where uh, just don't quite make it over. Well, he's got the supporters, as you can hear. Look at you. Kodan uh, Aroka is being uh, hurried back on court. Again, a similar sort of pattern to what we saw in the previous game, where the unforced errors are racking up. He's got this four-point lead now, Kodai Naroka. Problems here for Loki and you. Effortless from Kora Naroka. Well, this is the biggest lead anyone has had in the match so far. Five points. And Naroka will feel he's put himself again in a good position here. And this is starting to run away, isn't it, from looking at you. It's a decent lead of uh, six points now. It's a very good start here to the second game for Kodai Naroka. Again, he's missed it. 11-4 in game two, having already taken the first game.
So he's got to dig deep here, look at you. He's got himself into a bit of a hole here. Can he get himself out of it? Got a narrow cut, we'll put that away. The lead is now up to a whopping eight points. point stops that run but now he needs to do something quite special eight points in a row there he was five four up Cora Naroka oh sorry it was four all and then he got eight in a row just when we thought that uh, Lukin you might take the lead for the first time since early on in the first game Naroka surged forward. That's more like it. Two points in a row. He needs, uh, he's still training by quite a bit here, six hey, points. In a row, this is the best one he's had in a while. Look at you. Four in a row. That's excellent from Look and You. He's half the deficit, but he's still trailing by four here. But this will certainly give him some momentum. It's a long rallies that they're having with each other. Very, very few quick points. He looked shattered after that, didn't he? Koda Naroka. That is about the quickest point we've had in quite some time. That was a tired looking shot from Naroka. There's four shots in that one. Well, this is excellent from Loki, only five in a row. And only behind by three now. Can he continue this?
plays that late. Can he survive this? No, he can't. The run comes to an end, but certainly Lo Kien Yu's put himself back at least in contention because he was in real trouble at 12-4 uh, or 4-12. He's still trading by four. So three points now separates these two. Something like the uh, striking distance you'll feel. He's right back in this look at you. Naroka, that's got to be the back of his mind, nagging him that he couldn't take advantage. That is well wide. Well, this is very, very good stuff, look at you is hunting down that big lead, and he only trails by two now. <laughs> we saw some stunning leads as well already in this tournament, but this is something else. Anders Antonsen did it against Xiao Tian Chen the other day. Sensing he's oh he's had that opportunity. It was right there for the taking, and look at you spurns the opportunity. He looked a little vulnerable here, Naroka. And that was bending away. Went down the line. There was a lot more court to aim at cross court. And had that been just inside the line. Naroka would not have got there. Is that a pivotal moment? Three points the lead for Naroka. 35 shots that one. It's not the longest. There have been a lot of long rallies here. Oh, a lot of slice. Gone long. And Naroka keeps opening the door for Look and You. Can he bust it down now, the Singaporean? very much out, didn't it? It looked a very, very speculative one, but it maybe just allows him to take a quick break here. Yeah, that is uh, quite clearly out, isn't it? In some way. Sometimes uh, the players just, just know that it is out and they just need a moment. He's 
still in with an opportunity here. He's won nine of the last 12 points. Look at you. So the momentum is still in his favor by quite some distance. Naroka seems to have found a little second wind here. Looking to pick it up a bit. He's only a point behind now. Low has done very well to get to this point. And there's the fans in the uh, audience doing their bet. You could see he was just trying to put some disguise on that, but it was very, very low down for Naruoka. That's a challenge from Naroka, and uh, well, unlike the low one, this one seemed to be a lot closer. If he gets it wrong, Lokian Yu has drawn level, which will be stunning. Just outside of the camera angle, this is it. Oh, is it? Oh! <laughs> that is tight again, but it goes against Kodai Naroka. And look at you, has drawn level at 15 all. Remember, he was 4-12 down. He has scored 11 of the last 14 points, look at you. That is a remarkable turnaround here. Can he go on now to take the lead and even think about winning this second game and forcing a third? He does. He's back in front. Look at you. Outstanding last few minutes. 12 of 15 points has gone his way. He was 4 12 down. He's now 16 15 up. And he's now in front. Wow, there have been questions about his mental fortitude at times and the focus. He hasn't won this by any stretch, but it takes something quite special to be able to fight back from the position he was in against a player like Naruoka. Oh. Look at you, though. That lead is brief, but... He's kept it alive. Look at you. A simple backhand puts him in front again. This, this dive. What a save that is. Is 
30 shots at one. That's kind of what sort of the area we've been in. Naroka getting some instructions here. And he edges further in front. Took that just a little too late. He took that very low as well, didn't he, Loken Yu? And now a two-point cushion. Make that three. Again, he was 4-12 down. This is a, a remarkable comeback. It really is. And he's got himself four game points here. Well, this is pretty special. We said he needed to do something quite special, didn't we, earlier on? Can he wrap it up? He's done it. Look at you. Has taken this second game. 4-12 down. He's won 17 of the next 21 points. He looked in real trouble. Kodai Naroka was on course to make it a straight games win. And out of the blue, Loken Yu digs very, very deep indeed. And puts on a superb performance to level matters here. We are going into a third. This has been an absorbing contest so far. So this third game now, you would think the momentum is all with Loki and you. He continues his run here. It's simply outstanding, really is. Uh, again, to reiterate, he was 4-12 down in game two. Naroka was looking odds on to win this match, really, you'd have to say, the way he was playing. And look at you, turns it around in spectacular fashion. Just wonder how much uh, scar power, how much that's hurt. Kodai Naroka. Oh. 
Logan, he takes a lead for the first time in a while. It's at 3-1, but he'll know. <laughs> he might need something more than eight points after what happened in the last game. Well, that kind of uh, performance really can be such a platform for this man here, or for any player. the net and Naroka threw himself at that one. Draws them level at three all. Three all. say he knew exactly what he was doing and that is quite the shot isn't it yep that is well inside the line that is a brilliant shot may well be the shot of the match so far and that's given look and you the lead here early on in the third game Well, this is good stuff from the Singaporean. Twenty-two of the last thirty points have gone his way. To put it into context, that's a whole game's worth. He could have beaten. Uh, that's like beating Naroka twenty-one-seven. Effectively. So he's very good Nick here. But can he maintain this? That doesn't make it over. An hour now is gone. Just in. Decided to leave it, look at you. And it was inside the line, in fact, in the end. And if there is that little bit of drift coming in, it would have just pushed it back in. Yeah, it's just 
just looks a picture of frustration at the moment, Naroka, when things are not going his way. And I just wonder how much of that is also due to what he was thinking in his, uh, what happened in the last game. Some instructions were given to look at his normal coach. Calvin Ho is not here. But Paulus Fehrmann and Lu Wei Sheng, assistant coach here. Yeah, he's happy. He feels he's in a good place. Leads only by two, though. Jump smash. Not quite as cleanly hit as he would have won, but it's enough. Starting to edge away. Three clear here. And this is the uh, biggest lead he's had. In this sec third game. of three points in a row comes to an end. Good recovery. Oh, tight, but he is not challenging that. Down to two. smash and he goes into the interval look at you 11-8 up Kodai Naroka 
is trailing. And uh, he now needs to be the one digging a little deep here to turn this around. they have to swap around halfway through To four points in front. Look at you, who has uh, in previous years only been here once before last year. Oh, sorry, Koda Naroka. Naroka, you only got to the second round of the career open. Look at you. This is his debut in this uh, tournament. Not played here before, so this is an excellent perf maiden performance here at the Korea Open. And uh, that four point lead that Loki and you had halved by Kodai Naraoka. As of now. You look at uh, Naroka's results this year. He's had two quarterfinals at the All England Indonesia Open. He got to the final of the Malaysia Open. Look, and he throws himself at that. Two semi finals at the Canada Open recently in the Singapore Open. Quarterfinals at the Malaysia Masters. Two first round exits at the India Open. That was uh, with Luke and you and the Indonesia Masters. So he's gone relatively deep this year. Look at you. This is his first semi-final in 2023 on the World Tour. Got to the Asian Championships final. That's not a World Tour event. Had a couple of quarter-final appearances at the India Open and the Malaysia Open. Every other tournament, he's been out in the first or second round. So this is already the furthest he's got anywhere this year on the World Tour. And he's still in front here. Naroka, steely character, he's not giving out without a fight, that's for sure.
Good defending. Oh, and he's won the point. It looked like he was in trouble there. The reaction, it's a wry smile from Kona Naroka. In fact, he's smiling more than Loken Yu is. He was in trouble here. And it was just instinct and reflexes that saved him. That's a wonderful counter-attacking shot in the end. Couldn't finish it off. Kodai Naruoka. Three points clear. Now look at you. out trouble here for Naraoka he's trailing by four Lokenu leads five more to get to his first final of 2023 so well to get there. Court coverage by Loki and you is magnificent. Stretches every sinew, but that's an excellent winner from Koda Naroka, but that rally, there's no way that should have carried on this long. Loki and you, incredible earlier on in this rally to even get to the shuttle. That's a fine jump smash from Kodai Naraoka. He's keeping himself within that striking distance or so. There's three points in it. Well, this has been a really absorbing contest as we approach the 75th minute of it. It's one of the longest ones we've had here on court one, but it has been riveting. from low has that gone deep enough it hasn't but he hasn't put it away low he does eventually win the point again that little pirouette earlier on that stood out Still tight. <laughs> oh, and now maybe Naruaka believes. Two quick points, relatively speaking. And he's only a couple behind, Loki and you. Yeah, just got it right at the base of the racket. So it was wobbling on its way towards the uh, net and didn't make it over.
clips the net, it's out. Oh, it doesn't go. Naroka's way. Everyone just catching a breath here. That's out. Oh, he had the opportunity there. Corda Naroka. We saw a similar sort of uh, shot from Look and You in the last game. That's one he, feel, he would feel he should be putting away. Look at you, a couple of points. puts it away and he sets up five match points Naroka just wants a quick wipe down umpire says okay but here yeah, the net not much he could do Naroka and low sprung into action to kill it off with the backhand well can he get this vital match point, can he convert? He's in trouble now, Orca. Look at you! Has won it into his first final on the World Tour since January of 2022, which came just about a month after he won in stunning fashion the World Championships. Absolute delight for the Singaporean who was 4-12 down in game two. Remember that. And went on to win 17 of the next 21 points. This is a stunning win over the world number four. And he has maybe put some of those doubts away. He has taken that month off for rest and it looks to have paid off in brilliant fashion. He will either play Anders Anderson or Shi Yu Chi. We'll know the identity of his opponent a little bit later on. But for now, Lo Ken Yu will savor what has been an absolutely superb performance. Kodai Naroka will look back, I'm sure, with some frustration and regret at what could have been. Lo Ken Yu of Singapore, the fourth seed, beats the top seed Kodai Naroka, 18 21, 21 16, 21 15. He's done it in 80. Absolutely absorbing minutes. Up next, we have men's doubles India versus China.
Well, what a treat we've just had. A marathon 80-minute match. Lo Kian Yu has beaten Kodai Naraoka to book his place in the men's singles final here at the Korea Open, part of the HSBC B Dub World Tour. It's a super 500, and boy, has it been super. Now into the men's doubles. Satvik Sarraj, Ranki Reddy, and Chirag Shetty. The 